the flags are raised. Fascinating race, isn't it? It does appear that Brave Man's game is going to be handy from the outset. Towards the left of the picture, the white cap for Harry Cobden as they walk in steadily. Seamus O'Neill and Stuart Turner on starting duties today. They're off. The four of them jump away, just short of two and three quarter miles. The double daily rewards with Betfair graduation chase on the run to the first of 17 schedule fences. Itchy feet on the near side of Brave Man's game. Taylor Piper in the emerald green takes off and lands in third ahead of Al Nadam, orange jacket for Harry Skelton. And Brave Man's game uh, moves on now as they uh, make the approach to the second. Stood off that. Had to reach for it, but got pretty quickly from one side to the other and leads them on towards the last of the plain fences in the back straight. This is fence three, Brave Man's game from Itchy Feet. Three or four lengths ahead of Pay the Piper and finally Al Nadam and now the open ditch which will complete the jumping on the far side. Brave Man's game, good there. Came up well for Harry Cobden, leading Itchy Feet. Pay the Piper in third and finally Al Nadam as they leave the back straight behind them on the first occasion. At just shy of 30 miles an hour. So heading on towards the two mile point, Brave Man's Game. Slipstream by Itchy Feet. With a break of three lengths to Pay the Piper. And the outside of the field, Al Nadam, last of the four as they approach the first of the four fences on the run towards the judge. Brave man's game. Again, jumping really soundly there. Itchy feet close up. And they're a little way ahead now of the other two. On towards the second of the ditches, fence six. Brave man's game on the right from Itchy feet. And again, brave man's game very assured. Play the piper. Landed a little steeply in third, just tickling the birch. Al Nadam remains last of the four. Brave man's game at the seventh. From Itchy Feet, who was awkward there. Just gets a, a wake-up call from Gavin Sheehan. Sheehan seemingly not quite happy with the effort that Itchy Feet's been putting in at his fences a couple of times. Brave man's game, perhaps putting a little pressure on the jumping of his rivals. But there's still very early stage. Itchy Feet was much more assured there. Five lengths away to pay the piper and a further three to Alnadam. Down to the judge then with a circuit to cover and they've got a mile and a half to race at this point heading to the first of the fences over on the far side. Brave man's game from Itchy Feet. Pay the piper and Alnadam just closing up a little on their two rivals as they head to fence nine, which will bring them to the end of a circuit in this double daily rewards with Betfair graduation chase. Brave man's game. The colours of John Dance and Brian Drew. Made all so far to the Brooks's itchy feet. Grade one chase winner. Jumping well in second there. Pay the Piper wasn't as quick through the air as the two ahead of him, and he's almost joined by Al Nadam. Heading on towards fence ten. Brave man's game from Itchy Feet. Each jumping soundly there. And the other two were pretty assured. Pay the Piper and Alnadam. Heading now towards the final mile. Moving on to the 11th. Brave man's game and Itchy Feet. And heading now towards the last couple of fences over on the far side. Going along at about 30 miles an hour. Brave man's game was very good there. Very quick. Gained a length in the air over Itchy Feet. Pay the Piper and Al Nadam are close enough to land a blow. Here's the ditch. Brave man's game. Again good, but so too was Itchy Feet, who's almost up to his quarters. Slightly harder work, but driven upsides Itchy Feet. And just to put a bit of pressure on Brave man's game as they leave the back straight now on the run towards the uh, fourth last. So Brave man's game has the inside line. Itchy Feet right alongside him. They've opened up again. They've gone six or seven clear from Pay the Piper and Al Nadam as they turn to face the fourth last. So Brave Man's Game, that move by Sheehan aboard Itchy Feet hasn't managed to get Brave Man's Game off the bridle. And he strides on again. 
And he put himself right there, but was over quick, and he's opened up by three lengths, and Cobden is glancing in behind. Itchy Feet is sticking to his task, trying to erode the deficit once more, but Brave Man's Game is still seemingly swinging in front. Here's three out. Brave Man's Game again over safely from Itchy Feet. Four or five lengths away to pay the piper. Al Nadam has already uh, beaten off, always been last of the four. Here's two out, Brave Man's Game. Again, very slick, and Compton has a long, nonchalant look in behind. Itchy Feet's under pressure, being closed down upon by Pay the Piper, who's staying on. Brave Man's Game, surely one more good jump, and he gets it. Spring Hill at the last, came up out of Cobden's hands. Five, six lengths ahead of Itchy Feet and Pay the Piper, who are chasing shadows here. Brave Man's Game, two out of two over fences, and he looks a very smart recruit. Itchy Feet chased him all the way, but chased in vain. Pay the Piper back in third, last of four, Alnadam.